How to use baking soda to kill rodents. A detailed guide. When faced with a rodent infestation, homeowners often look for simple, safe, and affordable solutions. Baking soda, also known as sodium bicarbonate, has gained popularity as a potential weapon against rats and mice. Its low price, lack of toxicity, and easy availability make it an attractive option for many. However, there are some key details to consider before relying solely on baking soda to rid your home of rodents. Let's explore how it works, how to make it effective, and the alternatives you might want to try. How Baking Soda Kills Rodents Baking soda kills rats and mice by causing a buildup of gas in their stomachs. When rodents ingest baking soda, it reacts with the acids in their digestive systems, producing carbon dioxide. This gas begins to accumulate rapidly, and since rodents are unable to pass gas, they can't burp or fart, the increasing internal pressure eventually leads to death. While it sounds like an easy solution, it's not as straightforward as it might seem. The pros and cons of using baking soda. One of the major advantages of using baking soda to kill rodents is that it's relatively safe for humans and pets compared to traditional poison baits. It's also easy to obtain and inexpensive. However, the baking soda method comes with several downsides. Large quantities required. Rodents must consume a substantial amount of baking soda for it to be effective. This can make it less practical compared to commercial poisons, which work with smaller doses. Slow process. It can take several days or even weeks for baking soda to kill a rodent. This method is far from instantaneous, meaning you may have to deal with live rodents for an extended period. Inhumane method. While baking soda is not toxic in the conventional sense, the gas buildup it causes can lead to painful, prolonged deaths for the rodents. If you're concerned about humane pest control, this is not the best option. How to make a baking soda poison powder. If you still want to try using baking soda to kill rodents, here's how to prepare a simple poison powder that's easy for them to ingest. Ingredients. One cup of flour acts as a binder. One cup of sugar to attract the rodents. One cup of baking soda, the lethal component. Instructions. Mix the flour and sugar. Combine one cup of flour with one cup of sugar. The sugar will attract mice and tempt them to eat the bait. Add the baking soda. Stir in one cup of baking soda and mix the ingredients thoroughly. Place the powder in key areas. Sprinkle the mixture in areas where you've noticed signs of rodent activity. Common spots include along skirting boards, near garbage cans, or around potential entry and exit points. This powder works because the sugar lures the rodents into eating it, while the baking soda does the lethal work once ingested. Peanut butter bait. A cleaner alternative. If you'd prefer not to deal with the messiness of a powder, you can make peanut butter bait using baking soda. Ingredients. One cup of peanut butter. One cup of baking soda. Instructions. Combine the ingredients. Mix one cup of peanut butter with one cup of baking soda, ensuring they're blended well. Shape the bait into balls. Roll the mixture into small balls and place them in areas where rodent activity is high. Peanut butter is an irresistible treat for rodents, making it a highly effective way to ensure they consume the baking soda. Handling the bait. Important precautions. Always wear gloves when handling rodent bait. While baking soda itself is non-toxic and won't harm your skin, your scent can transfer to the bait. Rodents are highly sensitive to smell, and if they detect your scent, they may avoid eating the bait altogether. It's also a good idea to create a bait station using a small, enclosed container. This not only helps monitor the bait, but also keeps it contained, making it easier to clean up or refill as necessary. Live traps. A humane alternative. If you're uncomfortable with using poison or methods that cause prolonged suffering, live traps may be a good alternative. These traps work by capturing mice without injuring them, allowing you to release them far from your home. 
Once a mouse is trapped, it should be released at least one kilometer away in a park or wooded area to prevent it from returning. Natural deterrence. Preventing rodents from entering. You can also use natural ingredients to keep rodents out of your home. Spreading peppermint oil, cayenne pepper, black pepper, or cloves around the perimeter of your home can help deter rodents from entering. Be sure to apply these substances generously around potential entry points, like the foundation of your house. Another option is to sprinkle crushed pepper or spray pepper spray near rat openings and holes. The strong smell irritates the rodents' noses and airways, discouraging them from coming back inside. Snap traps. A quick and effective solution. For those seeking a more immediate solution, snap traps can be an effective way to deal with a rodent problem. These traps work by killing mice instantly when they take the bait, usually by snapping their necks with a metal bar. While it's not a pleasant option, it's much quicker and less painful than waiting for baking soda to take effect. Cleanliness and prevention. Keeping rodents out. Simply killing the rodents isn't enough to prevent them from returning. To avoid repeat infestations, it's essential to make your home less inviting to rodents. Here's how. Keep your home clean. Mice and rats are drawn to food. Ensure that all food is stored in airtight containers and never leave leftovers exposed. Sweep up any crumbs and wipe down countertops regularly. Empty your garbage cans. Make sure your garbage cans are emptied frequently and kept tightly closed. Rats are not picky eaters and will happily scavenge from your trash. Seal entry points. Inspect your home for cracks, holes, or gaps that rodents might use to enter. Seal these up to prevent future infestations. Calling a professional. When to seek help. If you've tried using baking soda or other DIY methods without success, or if you'd rather not deal with the unpleasant task of finding and disposing of dead rodents, it may be time to call a professional pest control service. They can offer more effective and humane methods to deal with your rodent problem, ensuring that your home stays rodent-free for good. Conclusion. Is baking soda the best solution? While baking soda can indeed kill rats and mice, it's not the most humane or efficient method. The process of gas buildup in the rodent stomachs is slow and painful. Snap traps or live traps offer quicker, more humane solutions for dealing with a rodent infestation. However, no method will be truly effective unless you take steps to clean your home and seal off entry points, ensuring that new rodents don't keep coming back. By understanding the pros and cons of different methods, you can choose the best option for your home and ensure that your rodent problem is solved once and for all. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comment section down below, and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end. Also make sure to check out our next highlighted video, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.